Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Samus. I'm one of the ICU doctors and general surgeons here at Quinty Healthcare. Since the majority of people that get Omicron don't need a hospital, in fact, more than 99% don't, most people will be treating themselves at home. And here are a few things that you can do to make it a bit easier on yourself as you isolate at home and get better from your COVID. Most of the symptoms people get when they're isolating at home with COVID are that they're very fatigued and tired, their body aches, they have a sore throat, and they get a raw nose from it running and, and, and um, blowing it so much. And their cough can be so significant that they have trouble sleeping. One of the things you can do in terms of the body aches and the fever is to take acetaminophen or ibuprofen. Take lots of soothing fluids, stay hydrated. Um, soothing fluids can include warm beverages and also can include soup. And it may be handy given that we're in a pandemic to make sure your pantry has lots of soup in it right now. Humidifiers and hot showers are a great way uh, to humidify your airways and to help that sore throat and cough. One of the other things that's well known is that rest really helps your immune system and staying up and not sleeping hurts your immune system. This is why there is a term forced rest. And that means that if you're getting better from COVID quite clearly, if you force yourself to sleep and force yourself to rest and learn to say no, you will get better quicker. If your cough is severe enough that you're unable to sleep, then an over-the-counter cough preparation can help. Just, just remember that you need to send someone to get it for you because you need to isolate at home. If your symptoms are progressing and seem moderate, um, you can talk to your family physician or telehealth. If your symptoms are more severe, you may need to go to the emergency room. There are a couple of things that I consider almost essential things to have at home during the pandemic and it may be worthwhile making sure you have them at home um, before anyone gets COVID that you know. The first is this simple thing, and that's a thermometer. It's surprising the number of people that don't have a thermometer at home. These are relatively inexpensive. They're found at the drugstore. And it's very important to take your temperature because that's one of the key symptoms. Remember to take your temperature four hours after you've taken acetaminophen or ibuprofen because that will artificially lower your temperature. And it's always good to jot it down on a chart. That may be one of the questions you're asked by medical um, professionals, should your COVID get worse and you come to hospital. So just make sure you do have a thermometer and remember to take your temperature as a sign that you may be getting COVID. And the second thing that I find invaluable is something you can get on Amazon for about $30. And this is a sat probe that goes on your finger. It goes on your finger like this, and it tells your oxygen saturations. And it's such a worthwhile thing. I happen to have one at home before the pandemic, and I can't tell you how many times I've dropped it off to friends with COVID to help them. What this little finger probe does is it tells you what your oxygen saturations are. And it's really your oxygen saturations that tell you whether you should call an ambulance or go to the hospital. If your breathing is getting hard and your oxygen saturations drop to about 90% or lower, it's probably worthwhile seeking the attention of a hospital. And this little finger probe will allow you to know what your oxygen saturations are. Because of the way COVID works on your oxygen saturations, it has a thing called silent hypoxia. And that means your saturations are actually low and you're not aware of it. That's quite different than normal, when if your oxygen saturations get low, you really feel short of breath and panicky. But with COVID, you can be calm and sitting there with saturations that are 85% or lower. So this little finger probe is just a great way to know that you're safe, to know that you're doing okay. And especially for relatives who have to isolate by themselves, they can just text you two or three times a day what their sats are, so you know that they're okay, and you can get them to the hospital if they need to, long before things get dramatic.